In this week's gospel reading, I was really struck by the strange image of the disciples becoming fishers of men. I think it's kind of an unsettling image, right? I mean, fish pulled from the water die quickly. Fish belong in the water. They only thrive in the water. And that's the way that God created them. And if we consider this image against the background of the Hebrew Bible, the metaphor of fishing for men becomes even more challenging. In the book of Jeremiah, chapter 16, God promises that the Israelites will be punished by exile at the hands of the Gentiles, the Babylonians. God would make sure that the Israelites would be fished by fishermen and hunted by hunters with no place to hide. And in Habakkuk chapter 1, the image is even more disturbing. The prophet is deeply worried and confused by God's use of the cruel and violent Babylonians to punish the people of Israel. How could God allow Nebuchadnezzar to joyfully catch up the people of Israel like fish in his net? And not just that, Nebuchadnezzar actually makes offerings and sacrifices to his net because he believes that his success at conquest comes from his own tools and abilities and nowhere else. Habakkuk is rightfully shocked that God would allow this and maybe we should be too when Jesus gives this call to the first four disciples to become fishers of men. Now it's a very big question how this image moved from one of God's judgment at the hands of Gentiles in the Hebrew Bible to one of God's salvation at the hands of Jews in the New Testament. But I want to focus on two interesting points. First is the issue of the fishing nets. In Habakkuk, we see this image of the net as something worshipped by the Babylonians who are unable to see that their success comes from God. Yet in the Gospel reading, we see in both cases that the disciples specifically abandon their nets in order to, to follow Jesus. And perhaps we can understand this as a rejection of the Babylonian approach, who are fishers of men, idolizing their armies, the nets, and who are unable to understand why or under whose authority they act. Whereas the disciples will become fishers of men without nets, following Jesus. Second, the element of judgment doesn't actually disappear. The call of the disciples to become fishers of men has to be read as something profoundly connected to the verse that comes before it. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. It is only through repentance and a clear understanding of why and under whose authority that the disciples can become redemptive fishers of men and distinct from Nebuchadnezzar who idolizes his own power and success.